show is called Dance to the Music, and that's exactly what it is. We're gonna go through all biggest hits of different eras and how it's impacted dancing and dance styles. It's a one-of-a-kind show. We're gonna see all styles of dancing on the stage. Break dancing, street dancing, hip hop, locking, popping, Latin dancing, ballroom dancing, Argentine tango, salsa and more. Come and see us. It's gonna be a beautiful mixture of different styles and something for everybody. I'm extremely excited to have my friend Christopher Maloney from X Factor join me on the tour. He's gonna have an amazing time dancing and singing with us. So come and see us guys. Beth Sherman actually performed a lot of my charity events and then developed a wonderful relationship with Beth. I think she's a great singer and we were looking for something very unique with great, great vocals. So she's a female singer, gonna be just absolutely incredible now. Show. Once again, I'm gonna dance with Robin Windsor, my professional partner from Strictly Come Dancing. Obviously, I took a year off because I had a baby, but now I'm coming back and I'm so excited to dance with him again. It's amazing to work with Robin Windsor again. Obviously, he's my professional partner from Strictly Come Dancing. And once again, we're gonna take our dancing shoes on the road and create something really special for our fans. I'm extremely excited about Dance to the Music tour, but of course I have to leave my little one at home. But you know, I'm a working mom like everyone else. I have to look after my family, I have to work, and um, it's gonna be a little bit difficult, but obviously I'm gonna come back home on all my dance days off and try to be at home as much as possible. My wonderful partner Ben Cohen is very supportive and obviously he's a very hands-on dad so he's been helping out with Mila, looking after her and also bringing her to some of the venues and my mom is over from Russia so she's gonna be a big help so I'm really excited to have such wonderful family around me and without them I wouldn't do anything really so they're really my rock and um, I can only do this show because of them. I just turned 40 last Friday, and obviously it's a big milestone, but it doesn't stop me from working or creating something exciting like Dance to the Music. It's been a long time coming project. I'm so excited to actually create something very different for dance lovers, and hopefully people will come and find something unique in that show, because there is no other show like Dance to the Music. It wasn't easy to lose baby weight and come back to my pre-pregnancy shape. I took a lot of time to actually do it healthy way, changed my diet. Once I stopped breastfeeding, I went vegan and also lots of yoga and lots of dancing. So that's the winning formula for me. The vegan diet, actually people have, it's, there's a certain stigma around the vegan diet. People think it's really hard and you only eat leaves all day long, but it isn't like that. There is so much variety, and actually when you cook from scratch, there are so many amazing dishes. I feel absolutely incredible. My partner Ben Cowan is also vegan now, which is really, really strange for a lot of people. Obviously, everybody thinks he's a big rugby player, so he must like his meat and all of that. But, you know, we enjoy the diet. Uh, we lost lots of weight on that, and you just feel really energized and very healthy. So we quite, quite enjoy it. The show came into my mind because I wanted to give to the dance lovers something really exciting to watch not just ballroom and Latin but also other styles, to incorporate all of the styles because we have so many dance crazes. If you go back in time, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, all of those decades have amazing style of dances and wouldn't be amazing to have all of them on the stage. At the, in the same show. So this is how the idea came about. And I've done lots of choreography myself, but also I have amazing other dancers on the show who will help me out to create that unique formula. 